We did learn this morning that we have uh, three separate U.S. attorneys that have uh, issued subpoenas to, to Wells Fargo. So that, that could be coming. So you want to see somebody put behind bars? Is that is that the bottom line here? Well, I, I would like to see accountability, and, and wherever the law leads, I know that. Uh, look, this is a this is a huge fraud case. Uh, you know, I know they fired 5,300 employees, but but this is a case where the employees actually you know falsified uh, accounts. They actually uh, filled out credit cards and uh, applied fake pins and and. Uh, uh, email addresses sure. so that they could collect these fees. What, so, but what does accountability look like, Congressman, to you? Well, what, it doesn't what does look that mean in this context? I, I just, I'm curious. Well, I, I think eventually uh, Mr. Stump should resign. I, I think he should. Uh, he has been in charge this whole time. He's the CEO and, and the uh, chairman of the board. It doesn't look like any of the suspicious activity reports that are due from his office. Uh, in connection with a, a lot of this uh, fraud were filed uh, with Treasury. Uh, we haven't seen them. We've been in contact with, with Treasury. So there have been a number of failings. He's also diminishing uh, the, the level of fraud here by saying it was only 5,300 employees out of 100,000, which is the wrong approach to take when you think about the, the seriousness. Uh, these were customers that were defrauded. And I think there's a special uh, you know, du duty of loyalty that they owe to their own customers. Sir, Michelle here, you've been tweeting uh, and talking about how proud you are of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, the CFPB, but they actually never found this fraud. It wasn't them. It was a reporter. Then it was an official in oh, yeah. L.A. They just kind of rode the gravy train of this. Why do they deserve any credit whatsoever? It's, it's a huge new bureaucracy that's going to cost a lot of money, and yet they issue fines, but actually didn't do the work. Well, they, they did do the work. Obviously, this was a, an L.A. issue originally. The, the people who were uh, complaining were Los Angeles uh, uh, residents. They complained uh, to the L.A. Uh, attorney and the, the city attorney. And, and he did, he did, or she did uh, we had bring the, the first on, case. We had the reporter who actually got it first. Right. Right. So, so that, 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 was the, that was the first step. It was a local issue. And then... Uh, when the, when uh, the uh, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau got involved, they have a wider uh, jurisdiction. This is not just an L.A. case. This is a, this is a national case. This is it, up to two million accounts. So obviously you need someone with a, a national so, scope, which the L.A. attorney they, does not have, so to get involved. there is no failure in your view on the part of, I mean, it cannot be perceived as any sort of a failure or a shortcoming of the agency if they take three years to follow up on work that was first exposed by a hardworking reporter in the L.A. Times and then later an L.A. city official to then come finally to make this a national story. And take they've, well, done, they've done a wonderful and job well, no, and, and no. it's a huge win, which is exactly what you tweeted. It redoubles my faith in those agencies. So let me get this right. Mm -hmm. Wells Fargo does what they do, and you're attacking no, the no, agencies no, no. that we're, are bringing we're, them? We're not in any part I mean, attacking Wells Fargo. We're just saying, are there any other places in, in the bureaucracy and the agencies that should also be held accountable for allowing this to go on for so long? Wells Fargo came back and said on multiple occasions, this goes back to 2011, that they had fixed the problem. They, first they said, we, hired, we fired 1,000 people. Then the next year they fired 1,200 people. So, you know, that's what the agencies are responding to. They looked like they were actually addressing the problem. But it just kept going, going, going. Now we're in year five, and we've got 5,300 employees that they fired, but, but they haven't really corrected the problem. That, that's that's the issue here. Sir? And, and sure, yeah, we're, sure. We're going to hear from we're going to hear from the uh, Los Angeles City Attorney in just a few minutes, actually. Good. Uh, so we'll we'll get a little a more job. insight into how they work together and why it it took from 2013 to today to to proceed as far as we have. I believe he's fairly complimentary, by the way, of the working relationship that he had with the OCC and the, and the uh, CFPB. Uh, yeah. But again, the question really is, why did it take as long as it did? The, the question is, why did it happen? Well, why, true, why, did, why did this fraud happen? Fair I enough. mean, that's, that's where the focus should be on Wells Fargo and what they did to their customers. Instead of turning this around and saying, you know, well, why did the cops take so long to, to get these people? Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. 
Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the I right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.